Distinguished guests, welcome to the day three keynote of Huawei Connect 2021. If you want to go far, go together. As we dive into digital, we need a vibrant digital ecosystem. Let's welcome Mr. Deng Tai Hua, Huawei Vice, Vice President and President of Computing Product Line, to deliver the keynote address, building a new computing ecosystem for shared success in the digital age. Good morning to all the friends online and on site. It's a great pleasure to meet you again at Huawei Connect and to share with you our thoughts on computing ecosystem. Over the years, Huawei has launched six digital technology ecosystems and enabled partners. Kunpeng and Ascent Computing are two basic ecosystems. Computing is fundamental to the digital economy and underpins ICT, OT, and all scenarios on cloud network edge and endpoints. The Huawei cloud ecosystem has become an important platform for industry digital transformation. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the Harmony OS and HMS ecosystems for smart devices and MDC for smart driving. These six ecosystems have been very well received and have all come a long way. In the intelligent device field, the number of Harmony OS users exceeded 100 million, a key milestone. More than 140,000 applications adopted HMS Core. The MDC ecosystem attracted 90 global partners very quickly. The Kunpeng Ascent and Huawei Cloud ecosystems have also developed rapidly, on which we will share more in a bit. But first, let's take a look back on how Kunpeng and Ascent grew with partners and developers over the past year from a video. Thank you for your support. We implemented our ecosystem strategy, open hardware, open source software, partner enablement, and talent cultivation. In the future, we will continue to increase strategic investment and work with partners to build a computing ecosystem for shared success in the new digital era. Next, I will share with you the Kunpeng and Ascend industry development plans and a series of new products and platforms, and release for the first time the native converged architecture for diversified computing. First, the Kunpeng computing industry. Last year at Huawei Connect, we released the Kunpeng full stack open basic software and hardware platform. The Kunpeng ecosystem grew beyond expectations and entered a new stage. To not only make Kunpeng available for partners, but also easy to use, we upgraded two basic open source software and two development and application enablement kits. The operating system is the foundation of computing industry and its ecosystem. Since Open Euler was open sourced, it's been embraced by the industry. It's been downloaded in thousands of cities. Hundreds of companies have joined the community, which now has tens of thousands of developers. It has become the most active open source community in China. Kailingsoft and more than 10 other partners have launched their server OS based on Open Euler, which have been deployed in many industries. Partners have put 300 
thousand sets into commercial use this year, and this number is expected to go above one million in the next few months to make Open Oiler the server OS with the largest market share in China. However, we're keenly aware that there are inconsistent OS standards in the digital infrastructure. There is the server OS, cloud OS, embedded OS for communication and industrial scenarios, and OS for cloud network edge and endpoints of ICT and OT. These silos led to fractured ecosystem, repetitive development, and complex collaboration. The new digital era calls for a new unified operating system. And that's why today we're bringing to you the new Open Euler, an open source operating system for digital infrastructure. As you know, Huawei has a full range of ICT products like server, storage, Huawei Cloud, edge computing, CT products like base stations and routers and industrial control devices. All of them need operating systems. We've been building capabilities for a unified operating system architecture to meet the requirements of different application scenarios. Today, these capabilities are built into the upgraded Open Euler operating system, a unified operating, open source operating system for the digital infrastructure from servers to cloud edge computing and embedded scenarios of CT and OT. And this is not achieved by adding all the functions up. The innovative atomic decoupling across the stack in the new Open Euler supports flexible version build and service combinations. With a unified architecture, the OS can support diversified southbound devices and all scenario northbound applications. First, an OS architecture that supports diverse devices is critical for OSV. In Open Euler, all components are atomically designed. It supports flexible kernel combinations and full-stack on-demand service build. The OS can be flexibly tailored according to different devices' resource capabilities and service requirements. In addition, the Open Euler operating system supports self-service construction. With menu-based configuration, kernel and system services can be flexibly combined at software package, file, and function levels to automate and simplify version build. Moreover, Open Euler provides multi-device collaboration kits for capability and resource sharing between different devices. The ability to develop once and deploy for all scenarios is critical for ISVs and developers. Open Euler provides a set of standard APIs in all ICT and OT scenarios so that the operating system and the applications can communicate in the same language. The Open Euler SDK encapsulates data, audio, video, and security capabilities required by various applications to enable simple development. The DevKit development plugin can be easily integrated into mainstream application development platforms. This way, applications can be developed once and deployed in all scenarios. Open Euler is the open source operating system for digital infrastructure, and Harmony OS is the intelligent device operating system for Internet of Everything. If they are connected, they can better serve all digital scenarios. This is crucial. Now, Open Euler and Harmony OS share kernel technologies. We have plans to port Harmony OS's distributed soft bus capabilities to Open Euler so that the devices running Open Euler can automatically identify and connect to those running Harmony OS. In the future, capabilities in the secure OS, device driver framework, and new programming languages will be shared to facilitate better collaboration between ecosystems. Today, we're officially releasing the first Open Euler version that supports all scenarios of digital infrastructure. 21.09, with enhanced server and cloud computing capabilities and brand new edge computing and embedded computing support. 
We hope to enhance the scenario-specific capabilities through community collaboration and release the community LTS version with full scenario convergence in March next year to enable partners commercial distributions for various scenarios. We welcome all interested partners to contact us. Huawei remains committed to long-term efforts in operating systems and will continue to work with partners across the industry to build an open and win-win operating system e ecosystem. The Open Wireless community now has more than 100 enterprise members across the entire industry chain, including processor, server, basic software, application software, and industry customer. We welcome more software and user companies to join the community and together build a full scenario open source operating system ecosystem for the digital infrastructure. If operating system is the foundation of basic software, then database is the crown jewel. Since Huawei open-sourced OpenGauss database at the end of June last year, it has been very well received. Seventy enterprise partners have joined the community, with over 2,000 development contributors. Twelve partners have released commercial distributions based on OpenGauss. Products from partners like Vast Data, Emotech, and Shentong are widely adopted in finance, government, electricity, and manufacturing, and are being deployed on a larger scale. To improve product competitiveness, we will launch the Open Gauss Innovative Release 2.0, built on community contribution to enable DBV partners to seize the opportunity of large-scale commercial deployment of databases. To upgrade community governance, at this Huawei Connect, we will hit another milestone, officially establishing the Open Gauss Community Council with 18 members including DBVs, industry customers, and academic institutions. By co-construction, sharing, and governance, the Council will build the Open Gauss community into a world-class open-source enterprise database ecosystem. Next, two very important kits. First, the Quimpon Dev Kit for developers to simplify development. DevKit 1.0 focused on application migration between different computing platforms. In early 2019, it took 60-person days per app, now only 2-person days. More than 10,000 enterprise applications have been migrated to Quimpeng, proof that app porting is no longer an obstacle. Today, we're launching the DevKit 2.0, focusing on Quimpeng native development. Across the entire R&D process, we offer Quimpeng Affinity Development Framework, performance-optimized Bisheng compiler, Bisheng C++ programming language for the first time, enhanced automatic test platform on cloud, and all scenario performance tuning, all to enable developers to develop on Quimpeng natively, easily, and efficiently. Partners and developers can download the dev kit from Quimpeng community. In another year, we hope to attract 1 million Quimpeng developers and enable more than 5,000 Quimpeng native solutions and turn Quimpeng into a mainstream computing platform for digital innovations. Here's a video for the launch. <laughs> For partners and customers, we also provide a Boost Kit to deliver premium performance. Boost Kit 1.0 focuses on eight main scenarios of Compong to fully leverage its computing power. We know that for traditional computing loads, CPU utilization is not very high, and a lot of computing power is wasted when waiting for data to be loaded. This time, we launched BoostKit 2.0, and we provide four types of data affinity acceleration components, including near data processing, accelerated data transmission, data parallel processing, and data security. 
for data processing loads, we optimize that end-to-end -end and greatly improve performance. Quimpon DevKit and BoostKit are committed to enabling developers to innovate with simple development and supreme performance and to build a thriving ecosystem. We would like to thank you all for your support to Quimpon Computing Ecosystem. Next, I would like to share with you the Ascent Computing Ecosystem for AI. We are now at a critical juncture of the development of AI. As a general purpose enabling technology, AI is widely applied in industries, science, and our daily lives. In 2018, Huawei launched Ascent Full Stack All Scenario AI Solution, and that is being widely accepted and welcomed, and we gradually built a new AI ecosystem powered by Ascent. I'd like to use this chart to introduce our Ascent AI strategy. First of all, we are committed to strategic investment, and we focus on our strength areas, that is basic software hardware to support a vibrant ecosystem. And we rely on two wheels. On one hand, we work with universities, research institutions, and partners to drive AI innovation to use AI to amplify scientific research and build a ecosystem. On the other hand, we work with business partners and customers to enable industry applications to build an AI business ecosystem. And technology ecosystem and the business ecosystem ring force each other. Together, we build an intelligent world for all. Simplified operations and premium performance are our design targets. We work with global AI experts to upgrade Ascent AI basic hardware and software platform, offering Atlas, CAN, hardware enabling CAN, open source AI framework MindSpore, application enabling MindX, my model arts and end-to-end -to -end tool chain Mind Studio. First of all, CAM. It is key to AI hardware performance. And at the end of the year, we will launch CAM 5.0. From 3.0 to 5.0 with the same hardware, the performance of typical CV models is doubled, and the performance of typical NLP models is raised by 2.5 times. Inference efficiency are by 50%. Can 5.0 support 1,300 mainstream operators, and operator support will no longer be a bottleneck. The AI framework MindSpore was open sourced last March. Now it has already become the most popular AI open source community in China. Given its popularity in the Chinese world, we believe it need a Chinese name. And today we officially announce its Chinese name, Shengsi. And we will launch the MySpore 1.5 version today. First of all, it enhanced all scenario capabilities. It supports all scenario hardware and OS of cloud network edge and terminal, so models can smoothly apply it across platforms. So they are developed once and deployed everywhere. MySpore 1.5 also supports large models, automatic parallelism, and visualized intelligent tuning, greatly improving efficiency for large models. And it is also have ease of use, which is crucial for developers. For the 1.5 version, we released for the first time the AI-assisted scientific computing with two kits, Mind Elect, which improves electron electromagnetic simulation performance of mobile phones and mining sponge to improve biopharmaceutical drug design efficiency. In the future, we'll launch more kits. To apply AI in industries, we need to combine AI with industry know-how. MindX as AI application enablement kit, we can better combine the two. Today, we are releasing the newly upgraded MX Vision and MX Manufacturer, those two kits. MX Vision, we improve the SDK algorithm and uh, computing power per card. It can support 128 channel, 1080p HD video analysis per card. It is industry leading, and more than 40 partners have developed video analysis applications based on that. And MX manufacturer, we now have 25 new quality inspection scenarios deployed in more than 30 factories, including media. It will cover over 100 plus factories by the end of the year. Today, we will also launch MX Index, 
a new SDK. It can locate libraries with hundreds of millions of parameters in milliseconds with four nine accuracy, enabling junior developers to develop AI search applications as good as top algorithm vendors. At the same time, Model Zoo is also being enhanced. We now provide more than 400 high-performance pre-trained models and over 80 reference designs, allowing developers to find high-performance ascent-friendly models. The full-stack AI basic hardware and software capabilities built on Ascend has also enabled the development of new generation infrastructure like AI computing centers. Those computing centers are part of public computing infrastructure in cities, providing computing power to local universities, research institutions, and enterprises to support industry aggregation and talent cultivation and application innovation. A lot of governments are investing heavily in this regard, so that in the future, AI will become another public utility like water and electricity, nurturing research innovation and industrial growth. With the heavy investment and the construction in AI computing centers, we believe the future lies with AI matrix. Next, I would like to invite you to join me to witness a historic moment. That is the release of AI matrix. In the past, we had power grids that brought us light, and we have high-speed railway networks that keep us close. In city area, we have communication networks that keep us connected. Now in the field of IT, historically, we embrace the AI matrix and make computing pervasive and intelligence ubiquitous. In October last year, ISTIC published a white paper on AI computing center development in Wuhan, proposing one center plus four platforms, accelerating the development of AI industry. Today, we are honored to have Ms. Zhao Zhiyun, the president of ISTIC, to unveil the white paper 2.0, moving from AI computing centers to AI matrix, guiding the development of AI matrix. Let's welcome. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, hello. I'm very happy to participate in Huawei Connect 2021. And I'll be here, share with our friends the development of new generation AI and the vitality and prosperity it has brought to China. In 2017, the new generation AI development guideline was launched, and after that, governments and departments have released a lot of policy and measures to drive the development of new infrastructure. And that has emphasized the significance of AI infrastructure. We are very happy. Last year in Wuhan, we launched the white paper on AI computing center development 1.0, and through this white paper, we've been leading the structure of one center plus four platforms and enable industry innovation through computing power of AI. After the release of white paper 1.0, we are very happy to see that more than 20 cities in China are building AI computing centers. And those AI computing centers have become the important driver to drive the industry forward. And this year, once again, we will launch the white paper 2.0. What's the difference between the two? Well, the difference is that we aim to further drive the development of AI computing center and establish an AI matrix by deploying AI computing centers around the country we aim to establish this AI matrix, which will aggregate computing power, data, and ecosystem. And we hope through this powerful AI matrix, we'll be able to unleash the computing power of AI and drive 
the industries forward. And we also hope by building and sharing resources together, promoting common growth and establishing a thriving ecosystem so that we can build a prosperous industry and fully unleash the power and role of AI. As we develop the white paper 2.0, we've gained strong support from AI TISA and Pengchen Lab. Today, we're also very happy to have Mr. Xiao Tiejun from Corporation Department of AI TISA and Mr. Tian Yonghong, Chief Architect of Pengchen Cloud Brain, to launch the white paper 2.0 on AI computing center development. We are also very happy to invite Deng Taihua once again back on the stage to witness this uh, historical moment. Let's welcome. <music> Here comes the most exciting moment. Please place your right hand onto the pillar to launch the AI Computing Center White Paper 2.0. Let's count down. Three, two, one. Let's take a picture together to mark this moment. Thank you, everyone. Let's hand it over back to Mr. Deng. Thank you to Ms. Zhao, Professor Tian, and Mr. Xiao. The white paper will provide crucial guidance to dozens of cities across China that are building AI matrix. Next, another very exciting moment. We and many city representatives will together light up the AI matrix. Ranguntunsuanliwanglo, 让人工智能与产业融合更深入，全面支撑国家级开源开放和技术创新，彭城实验室作为一级AI算力平台，携手各地城市共建我国人工智能算力网络，打造数字时代的新型基础设施。我在深圳，我在武汉，我在北京。我在成都，我在西安，我在廊坊，我在广州，我在福州，我在许昌，我在沈阳，我在青岛，我在大连，我在重庆，我在济南，我在上海，我在晋江，我在杭州。我在兰宁，我在南京，我在无锡，我在三亚，让我们共同点亮人工智能善力网络，让我们共同点亮人工智能善力网络，让我们共同点亮人工智能善力网络，让我们共同点亮人工智能善力网络，让自然未来加速而
These are two wheels driving the development of the AI industry. The large computing power from AI matrix combined with big data can enable large models and incubate new applications. Large models naturally rely on platforms. With pre-trained large models, developers can quickly develop high-precision industry models after minor adaptation. The industrialization of AI development will significantly boost adoption. It's safe to say that large models are key to the AI ecosystem. In May this year, Pengcheng Laboratory released the world's first NLP model with 200 billion parameters, PCLL. Today, we will unveil another two latest research achievements, PCLG for bioinformatics research and Zidong Taichu, the world's first trimodal large model for image, text, and speech processing, which are incubated at Pengcheng Lab and Wuhan AI Computing Center, respectively. First, please welcome Mr. Xu Bo, President of CAS Institute of Automation, to introduce Zidong Taichu, the world's first three-modal model with 100 billion parameters. Hello everyone, it's a great pleasure to join Huawei Connect 2021 and launch the world's first three-modal model, Zidong Taichu. This model is an important research result from CAS Institute of Automation. It's a super large model with hundreds of billions of parameters capable of efficient collaboration between video, text and audio with globally leading performance. We're committed to open source and openness to create value for the society. Our results will be shared for more researchers to build on, to improve, to support various applications of many industries. The Zidong Taichu model achieves efficient collaboration between the text, video, and audio models with super high performance. It's performance for the understanding and generation of text and image is at the state of the art. It can achieve cross-modal detection, video-based Q&A, and semantics description very efficiently. It has achieved number one performance in video understanding and description at ACM Multimedia and International Conference of Computer Vision this year, Zidong Taichu won the first place in performance. So I talked about the performance in numbers. How does it really work? Let me introduce you to a friend, Xiao Chu. Hello. Hello, Xiao Chu. Can you please introduce yourself? Hello everyone, I'm Xiao Chu. I was not created from a rock. I was actually created by the training of Zidong Taichu, the world's first three-modal model from CAS Institute of Automation. Xiao Chu, you said you were trained by the model Zidong Taichu. Did you know how Zidong Taichu was trained? Of course. For such a large model to be trained, it has to be done at an AI computing center with super large p computing power. Excellent. We just had the launch ceremony for AI Matrix. Can you imagine how the future will be like with AI Matrix connecting the computing power of industries, of cities? I actually have a video of how multimodal model can be applied in textile spinning. Let's test Xiao Chu's capability. Did you notice anything wrong from the sound of machine? Three seconds in, a thread broke.
Xiao Chu, what you have demonstrated to us is really impressive capability to conduct quality inspection with sound in industrial setting. Did you learn anything new recently? Of course, I'm always learning. Actually, I just learned a new skill to generate video. Okay, can you please generate a video with ocean, blue sky, and seagulls? Xiao Chu just demonstrated Zidong Tai Chu's capability of intelligent Q&A, image generation, video understanding, and generation. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Such impressive capabilities of Zidong Tai Chu model. The model and applications will be shared. The basic model has been open sourced on MindSpot in the future. We will open source Zidong Tai Chu model with 1 billion and 10 billion parameters, and the model with 100 billion parameters will be shared as well. We look forward to working with uh, other academic institutions and companies. Currently, we're working with SAIC, Weiqiao, IQI, and many other enterprise partners to explore the use cases of Zidong Tai Chu, such as intelligent driving, industrial quality check, and film production. In the exploration of general AI, we look forward to working with industry partners for the prosperity of AI industry. Thank you. Thank you to Mr. Xu Bo for showing us the three modal model Zidong Tai Chu's near human ability for emotions and thinking. This is a major step towards general AI and will encourage industrial application and form industry convergence. We look forward to more applications and cooperation in the future. In the Chinese legends, a doctor Shen Long tried many herbs on himself looking for a cure. The PCLG model, named after him in Chinese, uses AI to create drugs, creating a new way of pharmaceutical research. We have a video to show you. Bingdu和细菌随着生物的进化变得愈加复杂。蛋白质作为生命的本质，成为我们深入研究生物信息、应对这一复杂变化的关键。以蛋白质研究为起点。基于鹏程云脑二超大规模算力集群，以及深思AI框架，打造鹏程神农生物信息研究平台，旨在用AI的力量助力生物医药的探索。很荣幸受邀参加2021华为全链接大会。今年五月份，鹏程实验室发布了
Since the first antimicrobial peptide was discovered in the 80s, more than 4,000 candidates have been discovered over 40 years using methods such as bioextraction. Today, with the help of PCLG's powerful amino acid sequence generation, combined with the existing data sets, we can produce tens of thousands of high-value, high-potential filtered candidate sequences in a very short time for biological experiments and clinical testing. This can greatly speed up discovery. We're working with institutions like the Chinese Academy of Medical Sciences, and we welcome more medical partners around the world to join us to industrialize this research for the benefit of humanity so that antimicrobial peptides can contribute to human health sooner. This kind of AI development led by basic domain-specific models can speed up other kinds of pharmaceutical research as well. Instead of trying all the herbs on ourselves, AI allows us to innovate, research, and develop new drugs in brand new ways, contributing to human health. In addition to these two large models, Pengchen Lab and Wuhan University have launched a series of large models based on Ascent, including PCLV for computer vision and Wuhan Luojia for intelligent remote sensing. As more AI computing centers go live, I'm sure more large models for different fields will be launched in the future and bring more benefits to the industry. To better support industry development, we follow the openness and open source principles. With the support of Pengchen Lab and Wuhan University, as well as the CAS Automation Institute, or the intelligent upgrade of various industries. The key of the business ecosystem is to embed AI in application scenarios. However, those who understand AI often don't understand the industry, and many industry experts don't understand AI. Therefore, to bridge AI and industry expertise in the last mile of AI application, we propose a new collaboration model, that is, to jointly define, develop, market, and iterate solutions in chosen scenarios. In this way, Huawei and partners together provide scenario-based replicable AI solutions for end customers. Huawei has already launched four a Ascent solutions, Ascent Smart Manufacturing, Smart City, Smart Transportation, and Smart Inspection, enabling the intelligent upgrade of these industries. In the future, we will launch the Ascent Smart Drug Discovery Solution and Smart Education Developer Kit to provide practical AI solutions for the pharmaceutical and education industries and make AI more accessible and industries more intelligent. Well, in the end, to encourage fundamental AI research and application innovations, we work with AITSA, Pengchen Lab, and ETH together. We have set up the Artificial Intelligence Innovation Award. And this award is named after Zhu Chongzhi, a renowned mathematician and astronomer who contributed not only to fundamental research of math, but also to application fields such as astronomy and machinery. Those are the two important pillars of AI's rapid development. The AI Innovation Award will be given to outstanding achievements in fundamental AI research and innovative application worldwide. The first round of selection will take place in 2022. More details will be released later. We welcome experts and academics from the world to recommend projects and drive AI technologies forward for the benefits of humanity. We would like to thank all Ascent partners and developers worldwide for your love and support. Thank you. With Quimpong's general purpose computing and Ascent AI computing, the future will be diversified computing combining, gen, uh, combining general and uh, heterogeneous computing. Quimpong plus Ascent will create even greater value for the industry. As we move towards diversified computing, systems will evolve from single computing platform to diversified platforms, from single node deployment to cluster, from traditional applications to converged intelligent applications, bring complexity to software developers. To address these challenges and to help developers 
have easy development on diversified computing clusters. Today, we officially release Beiming Converged Computing Architecture. Let's watch a video. Now, I would like to invite my colleague Xiong Yan to come to the stage and introduce Beiming Architecture. Let's welcome. Good morning, everyone. It's my pleasure to share Huawei's thoughts on diversified computing software stack. Beiming Converged Computing Architecture is a complete software stack for diversified computing hardware and clusters. It simplifies development and unleashes computing power in diversified computing environment, fully releasing computing performance. The Beiming architecture includes foundation enablement, application enablement, and development enablement. I will introduce them one by one. First of all, the diversified computing system brings three challenges to developers. First of all, the development of diversified computing power requires multiple programming languages and tools. The ecosystem is fragmented. Second. When one application is deployed across platforms, code reuse is difficult, and that will create a high development cost. More importantly, the lack of synergy among different computing platforms prevents us to fully release the full performance of the system. But Beiming's foundation enablement suite offers generality, high productivity, and high efficiency helping developers better meet the above-mentioned challenges. The foundation enablement suit includes Bishen C++, supporting diversified computing architectures, Bishen Compiler, offering unified compilation and converged optimization, high-performance Beiming Converged Acceleration Library, and also a heterogeneous runtime that implements computing scheduling, distribution, and execution. Now let's look at Bishan C++. It is designed for diversified computing based on C++ and supports SQL heterogeneous programming standards. It supports Quimpong, Ascend, and other mainstream architectures, greatly reducing learning cost for developers. Bishan C++ abstracts the common features of different computing platforms, provide vector computing, matrix computing, and parallel computing. And for matrix computing units across different platforms, it provides UMMI, a unified matrix programming interface. It also offers tensor abstraction for the AI domain. It can realize the reuse of source code across different platforms, reducing code migration cost. In addition, Bishan C++ supports SIMD and SIMT, those parallelism parallelization models, which can realize cross-platform programming and multi-platform synergy. Bishan C++, through single language and single source code development, it reduces programming complexity on diversified computing systems. And for Bishan Compiler, it supports multiple instruction sets and unified compilation on different platforms, such as Quimpong Ascend. With Bishan C++, the compiler can generate FatBeam executable, supporting multiple computing codes, which can be easily deployed across different platforms. And the compiler enhances prefetch optimization, automatic vectorization, loop optimization, and polyhedral optimization. The benchmark performance test on the same set of source code on Quimpong shows Bishan compiler outperforms GCC by more than 25%. In addition, the compiler offers synergized optimization, such as converged data flow analysis, control flow analysis, constant propagation, and data layout optimization, so that compilers can compile and optimize across platforms. 
Bishan compiler shows 30% better performance in the SPECTA cell benchmark test. We plan to launch Bishan C++ beta and Bishan compiler 2.3 version in June next year. They support single-source cross-platform programming, UMMI interface extension, tensor programming interface extension, and auto-schedule directive. We welcome developers to download. To better adapt to diversified computing, we upgraded the CCAL Acceleration Library 1.0 released last year to Beaming Converged Acceleration Library, providing API-based programming invoking for key function acceleration. The acceleration library is compatible with mainstream application frameworks with good compatibility with existing ecosystems. With AI-accelerated feature space search, AI-solved PDE, and high-precision sampling, it supports AI plus big data, HPC plus AI, and HPDA and other converged applications. The Beaming Converged Acceleration Library provides unified API. At the same time, it has one-of-a-kind diversified computing operator layer. Through multi-platform synergy, heterogeneous partition, it separates computing to the most suitable computing platform and then use hybrid parallelism and equivalent transformation of algorithm to further improve performance. Take optimizer operator as an example. Tensor computing that requires low precision but high computing power are executed by Ascent, and high precision computing is executed by Quimpong that provides precision compensation for gradient computation, greatly reducing training time. Based on that, we improve the efficiency of mainstream training models such as computer vision and natural language processing by more than one time. The Beaming Converged Acceleration Library 2.0 will be released in December this year. Based on diversified computing operator layer, it has AI Training Acceleration Library, Poison Solver Library, Updates Machine Learning Library, Graph Analysis Library, Realizing Cross-Platform Optimization. In the future, we will keep pace with rapid development and develop more capabilities and scenarios. Now I would like to show you a video to demonstrate how Beaming Foundation Enablement Suite simplifies cross-platform programming and unleash the performance. Chi 在低精度LU矩阵分解中 对整机简化模型进行了低频噪声传播仿真，求解时间缩短了五倍。未来，北冥基础软件将进一步使能多样算力加速高端制造，助力飞机、汽车、风电等高端行业打造先进数字化生态。北冥使能多样算力加速高端
simplified development of distributed applications, efficient deployment, and optimal full-stack efficiency of diversified computing systems. It includes Donau Unified Scheduler, providing optimal resource scheduling for applications. And Yuanrong Distributed Parallel Development Framework, enabling efficient development of large-scale distributed applications. And MindSpore for Science Kit, providing a new computing paradigm for high-performance science applications. Last year at Huawei Connect, we introduced Huawei in-house developed Duonau Unified Scheduler. The goal is to support unified scheduling and management of converged applications across different platforms and achieve large-scale, high-resource utilization, high scheduling performance, and provide optimal matching of applications and resources. Duonau Unified Scheduler 1.0 has been released as scheduled. With unified scheduling for diversified applications, unified management of diversified computing resources, filling the technology gap. This year, Duonau 2.0 offers multi-layer in-depth awareness and modeling for application computing power, storage, network, and energy. And it has expert system, cross-domain collaboration, and intelligent scheduling algorithm to achieve higher efficiency and greatly improve the ROI on diversified computing systems. The test result in scenarios shows that the total throughput is improved by 25%, and energy consumption is down by 30%. In the future, Duonau will have the hierarchical scheduling capability of Meta Scheduler to support cross DC scheduling and connect to third party schedulers based on open interface, providing key technologies for building diversified computing networks. Now let's look at Yuanrong. Yuanrong is a distributed parallel development framework for diversified computing clusters developed by Huawei. It enables developers to enjoy experience of single host programming, making large-scale parallel application development fast as building blocks. Since the release on Huawei Connect last year, it now supports data and algorithm parallelism. Those are the two key application scenarios. It has data parallel pattern and data affinity scheduling, helping Huawei Cloud Video RTC shorten development time of special effects by six times and improve resource utilization by 50%. With algorithm parallel pattern and nested function parallelism, it improves the programming efficiency of algorithm parallel application. Our industry partner Quantex used this framework and added three lines of code to achieve distributed application of financial asset management risk control analysis, accelerating efficiency by 10, uh, 10 times. In future, we'll support combination of multiple computing models to make development of distributed applications more agile. Diversified computing power is driving cross-domain application convergence, and AI has become the new paradigm for scientific computing. Therefore, we have extended MindSpore into scientific computing. Through multi-scale converged computing and mixed mode of higher order differential equations, the original AI computing engine is upgraded to a unified engine of AI and scientific computing, unifying acceleration of converged applications. This engine can solve higher order differential equations five times faster than industry and reduces the memory usage by twice. Based on these features, we have created the Mind Science Computing Kits for eight scientific computing industries. The kits include industry leading data sets, basic models, pre configured high precision models, and pre and post processing tools to accelerate application development. Currently, we have launched Mind Elect for EDA and Mind Sponge for life sciences, improving the electromagnetic simulation performance by 10 times and biopharmaceutical compound simulation efficiency by 50%. Here's a video to show you how Mind Science kits accelerate electromagnetic simulation. 电磁波在日常生活中无处不在，其纯朴特性直接决定了手机基站天线等设备信号的方式和接收能力。电磁仿真作为研究电磁波的重要手段，传统方法面临计算过程复杂、计算量大等诸多挑战。华为将AI框架
，利用 Money Like 多模数据转换技术，将复杂的 CAD 结构转换成 AI 亲和的张量数据。高维的张量数据通过编码方式进行压缩，大幅减少存储和计算量。压缩后的张量数据进入创新的 AI 电子仿真基础模型进行训练。训练过程结合多屏信号网络优化技术，提升模型精度。生思科学计算在手机电子仿真领域已取得技术突破，仿真精度媲美传统科学计算软件，同时单次仿真耗时缩短十倍。生思科学计算开辟了电子仿真新赛道，未来将在消费电子、无线基站等更多高端电子信息行业中应用。Having talked about the application development and deployment, let's talk about the tool chain for diversified systems. The development and debugging in the diversified computing systems also bring extra pressure to the developers. First, development tool chains of different processors are different. In coding, compile, debugging, simulation, testing, and deployment, developers encounter encounter inconsistent workflows. They need to switch between tool chains repeatedly, resulting in poor experience and low efficiency. Second, it is a time-consuming effort to do simulation and set up debugging environments for the diversified computing system. Moreover, due to the lack of cross-platform debugging and optimization, developers often need to manually synchronize debugging data across different tool chains, repeatedly patching the profiling information across different computing systems, severely restricting their productivity. In Beiming Architecture, we have MindStudio Unified Tool Chain to support the entire development process. MindStudio has multi-platform hardware abstraction, unified foundation platform, and unified tool chain front end, the three-layer decoupled architecture with one-stop development capability. The cross-platform hardware abstraction layer masks the computing differences for the upper layer invocation. The unified foundation platform supports flexible function addition and plug and play. It connects to the hardware abstraction through generic interfaces and provides unified APIs for the front end tool chain. The unified tool chain front end can leverage capability abstraction of the common framework to achieve consistent experience across computing platforms and flexible integration. MindStudio provides developers a unified IDE to ensure consistent workflows end to end. The plugin technology supports flexible function combination and customization of the development process. To improve development efficiency of diversified computing systems, MindStudio also provides functions such as cross-platform debugging, systematic optimization, on-demand simulation environment, and one-click development resource access. Here's a video to show you the development experience based on the MindStudio unified tool chain. 多样性计算系统下的开发调试，开发者会面临多个工具链之间的反复切换和开发断点问题。Mind Studio 通过多算力硬件抽象，统一基础平台，统一工具链前端三层结构架构，构建全流程一站式开发体验。通过多层次抽象，屏蔽异构计算节点产生的算力差异，实现统一抽象接口。通过共平台插件架构，向下对接硬件抽象层，向上提供统一的 API 接口。通过统一前端通用框架，灵活定制多样算力插件，实现开发全流程连贯无断点。开发过程中，云端丰富资源按需获取，轻松连接云、边、端开发环境。Mind Studio。支持多语言引擎，覆盖多种主流开发语言。通过 DAP 协议以及 MI 接口，支持多算力后端交互式调试。内置仿真器，支持无算力环境开发。Mind Studio 提供全局协同调优能力，结合专家系统，提供瓶颈分析与调优建议，挖掘多样计算系统的极致性能。Mind Studio 多算力一站式。全流程极致开发体验。以上 ，That's all from me today. We hope that the Beiming architecture designed for diversified computing will simplify development, improve development and deployment efficiency, and deliver premium performance. Thank you.
。感谢熊燕先生的演讲。Next, please welcome Mr. Kang Ning, President of Global Cloud Ecosystem Huawei, to give us a speech. Huawei Cloud, innovating for a digital ecosystem of shared success. 接下来有请华为云全球生态部总裁康宁先生带来华为云持续创新，共赢数字技术新生态的主题演讲。有请。Hello, dear developers and friends. Huawei Cloud's mission is to become the foundation of the intelligent world and the cornerstone of enterprise digital transformation. We collaborate with other ecosystems like Quinpeng, OpenOiler, Harmony OS, and HMS to better serve developers and partners for shared success. Huawei Cloud ecosystem will focus on cloudification of industry applications. We'll commit more efforts in the following four aspects. First, serving tens of millions of developers. We will increase R&D investment in developer tooling and enhance IDE and mobile capabilities to improve their experience. We will build a developer alliance to facilitate collaboration between enterprise and personal applications and between Huawei Cloud and Huawei Consumer Cloud. Second, building a path for open innovation. We will share Huawei's experience in digital transformation and work with partners to build the industry a path macroverse to enable developers to reuse industry experience. Third, combining the strengths of SaaS partners, we will continuously invest capital and technical resources to support partners' application development, cloud migration, and continuous operation to accelerate cloud-native and SaaS transformation of various industries. Fourth, investing in marketplace for app distribution to build superior experience of enterprise app distribution, purchase, and service. We will also turn the marketplace capabilities into services to help customers and partners build their own app distribution system and expand the market for cloud apps. Being committed to customer centricity, Huawei Cloud will build and share the industry A pass macroverse with partners to serve tens of millions of developers, build an industry and application marketplace, aggregate applications of various industries, and unlock unlimited business potential. To better serve developers, Huawei Cloud will invest 100 million U.S. dollars to upgrade the Huawei Cloud Developer Program. First, scope: all certified enterprise, university, and individual developers will now enjoy easy access to incentives and support. Second, support. We will add developer knowledge library and dedicated technical support channel to respond to development issues in 12 hours and close them in 48 hours. In Huawei Cloud's over 100 innovation centers around the world, we have developer technical support engineers or DTSEs serving developers face to face. Third, incentives. We added professional certification and individual incentives for developers. Huawei Cloud provides professional developer certification in five domains: cloud native, AI, big data, mobile development, and IoT. Developers can enjoy many benefits, such as cloud service resources, event tickets, training courses, and certification exam vouchers worth 200 U.S. dollars per year per person. Developers are crucial for Huawei Cloud to solve customer problems and create value. We will continue to increase investment and work with developers to innovate and grow together. We provide 13 categories of cloud services, 128 kits, and over 30,000 APIs for developers, as well as 14 types of development tools and five learning and support platforms to improve the developer experience, enabling them to call the open capabilities, use development tools, get learning support, and innovate easily and freely. Software development is one of the most complex technical tasks of our time. Improving efficiency is essential. As the saying goes, to do good work, a craftsman needs good tools. IDE is the most important tool for developers and key to their efficiency. The cloud-native development platform, Cloud IDE, on Huawei Cloud, with its innovative IDE kernel and AI technologies, provide a smooth and efficient experience on cloud to developers. It's been deployed by hundreds of thousands of developers. Given the rapid development of serverless computing, Huawei Cloud IDE provides a toolset including business kits and cloud-native debugging. 
Developers can use the cloud environment in one click for functional programming and debugging. It also supports real-time tracing and commissioning of ultra-large-scale functional cluster applications. Here's a video. One-click debugging for serverless applications is just one of many features of Cloud IDE. Huawei Cloud will continue to develop cutting-edge IDE kernel technologies and offer open kits and end-to-end -end de DevOps experience to improve developer productivity. Last year, Huawei Cloud released two services, AppCube and WeLink. AppCube-based local development is not only for light applications. We have helped large organizations in more than a dozen industries build their core applications such as city operations center, production management, and security management with AppCube, speeding up the modernization of core services. WeLink serves more than one-third of China's top 500 companies, connects 160,000 conference devices, and hundreds of thousands of business systems through WeCode, helping customers accumulate 54 million intellectual assets. Together, they create new possibilities for developers. Business personnel can develop applications without writing any code on WeLink. This way, business experts can be connected to AppCube for deeper digitalization. AppCube supports massive connections and allows developers to use the open capabilities of Huawei Cloud, WeLink, and the business applications. What's going to happen if these two services are combined? If anyone can be a developer, there will be many more diverse applications on cloud. Huawei Cloud is dedicated to building the best enterprise app distribution platform to create greater business value for partners and developers. We will build superior service experience, consistently enhance platform capabilities, and launch more flexible and efficient operation services for customers to purchase and use conveniently to satisfy their needs in various scenarios, and for our de partners and developers to innovate more easily and succeed. Moreover, we will provide the Huawei Cloud Marketplace capabilities in the form of services to help customers build ecosystems. In the city of Shanghai, they innovatively set up the Digital Governance App Marketplace in the reform to build minimum city management units. I'd like to invite someone with years of experience in city manage management to share more. Please welcome Mr. Xu Zhe to talk about the requirements and experience of urban governance in Huangpu District of Shanghai. Well, I'd like to thank Conning for the invitation. I'm very happy to share my experience in city management. At the beginning of the century with large-scale infrastructure construction, Shanghai, a mega city, faced new topics such as safe operation and efficient urban management. In 2005, we built grid-based checking mechanism, and governments don't wait for problems to come to them, rather they go out to find problems. After 10 years of trial and error, in 2015, Shanghai launched a reform to innovate social governance and strengthen grassroots construction. The government delegated more people, authorities, and responsibilities to the streets, which became the main field for the discovery and handling of urban governance issues. Through identifying city assets and chores, we clarified responsibilities and established a standardized closed-loop management prototype, which efficiently improved government efficiency and gave the city a new look. However, different departments built their own IT systems and closed-loop processes based on their own business requirements, which were disconnected and hard to generate synergy. 
the lack of comprehensive planning for a cloud data network and device also split data flows. New problems lead to new transformations. In 2019, the Shanghai government proposed a new concept of urban unified urban governance in one network and made every effort to promote integration across levels, departments, and systems. Following the principle of putting practice first, Huangpu District has patched together systems of various departments and management grids, realizing an all-in-one management grid and they delegate people and authorities to street-level city operation workstations. One district, 10 streets, 30 workstation structure have become the cornerstone for urban governance. Looking back, urban governance has gone from big management to small management, from course management to more refined, and the management unit also went from district level to street level to grid level. The granularity gets more and more refined. As management and services become more centered around grassroots level, governments are also getting closer to people. However, this is far from being the end. In 2021, Shanghai kick-started digital transformation. We now face greater challenges and uh, brand new opportunities. Cities are composed of thousands of buildings and houses, and these are the smallest management units. The enterprises and people living in these buildings are masters of urban governance. How enterprises can fulfill their responsibilities in safe operation and daily, ur and daily government governance of cities, and how can governments fulfill their responsibility? These are the key to the last mile of urban governance transformation. Now our district is exploring a new digital governance model of managing smallest management unit. Through pilots in Nanjing Building, Tianzifang Cultural Streets, and Chunjiang Community, we clarified the responsibilities of governments and enterprises, and we focus on public safety risks and recurring problems that affect people's interests, and established a five-level closed-loop management mechanism. To implement the model, we need to build a digital twin vital science system, a series of digital governance foundation connecting smallest management units together. As market entities participate more in urban governance, we also need to build a digital governance app marketplace. And this marketplace will give technology players level playing field under the same rules and technical standards so that they can better fulfill responsibilities in safeguarding city operation and provide high quality products and services. The ongoing digital governance transformation will make Shanghai and Chinese cities better operated and have stronger governance capability, the demands from the transformation and the market born out of those demands will strongly support the development of a digital economy and ultimately benefit people. Let's join the cause of digital transformation and make sure that cities are built by the people and for the people. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Xu Zhe, for your wonderful sharing. To meet the requirements of urban digital governance and technology reform, Huawei has re responded actively. Now let's show you a video. Hi, Yiwang Tongguan, Shuzi Jili, Yung Shichang. Shanghai Jungfu, Yuhawei, Shindu Hazo, Jiji Tanso, Yiwang Tongguan Yu, the Yuju Hafang, Lian He Huawei Yu, Shui Sin Dazo, Shuzi Jili, Yung Shichang, Yisang Chen Bo, Kwai Su Fei Guang, Ku Fu Ji Yung Sin Boshi. 通过咨询服务获取最新业务理念和热门需求当前已入驻六十八家生态伙伴
Huawei Cloud Macroverse APAS will break existing boundaries, enable scenario-based innovation, and become an axis of ecosystem. Huawei Cloud remains committed to customer centricity and continuously invests in industry solution and market. Macroverse is an open platform built and shared with partners. We'll focus on industrial internet, industrial software, city and public utilities, internet service capabilities to build a solid platform. Now I would like to hand over to my colleague, Mr. Fang Wei to introduce Macroverse. Thank you. developers and partners. As industries dive further into digital, enterprises have more requirements for SaaS, and they also have high requirements for developers. How can we better meet these requirements? Huawei Cloud Macroverse APAS is created to meet those requirements. Macroverse is jointly developed by Huawei and partners to enable scenario-based innovation. It can speed up application development and make it easy to use. Macroverse is an industry APAS platform on Huawei Cloud. It provides industry capabilities end-to-end -end in one stop for developers, offering experience as service and enabling scenario-based innovations. First, we offer open capabilities. Up until now, Macroverse offers 128 kits, more than 20,000 APIs, accumulating industry experience in applications and data. Second, capabilities of the Huawei Cloud and partners can be seamlessly integrated and invoked on Macroverse. Third, data assets and SaaS applications can be commercialized for business value. On this APAS platform, we have partners capabilities and we support industry SaaS innovation, enable various industries to build solutions quickly. Now let's look at the architecture of Macroverse, including three parts. First, the capability layer. It accumulates API, SDK, and industry know-how onto one platform and they are turned into domain kits and put on Huawei Cloud. Now we have kits for e-commerce, finance, interactive media, automotive, healthcare, and industrial domains. For example, in e-commerce, it includes product display, user acquisition, and sales analysis capabilities as kits. For market layer, the second layer, partner assets are accumulated in asset center and can be traded as commodities in the form of API SDK, data models, AI algorithm, serving industry customers. The third part is smart stage. Capabilities from different kits can be quickly put together in various applications, improving development and user experience. We have smart stages for integrators and enterprises. The one for integrators offer data integration, AI integration, workflow orchestration enabling developers to build SaaS based on kits. And the one for enterprises for SaaS subscription and usage, like light application development uh, of workflow and BI. What's the value of the smart stage? It is intended for two groups, partners who supply SaaS and enterprises who consume SaaS. On the supply side, we have three types of partners, ISV, system integrators, and emerging SaaS vendors. The smart stage provides end-to-end -end service ranging from SaaS development, rollout, sales, deployment, provisioning, integrated delivery, operation, o and and helping developers and partners migrate to cloud easily. Take ISV as an example. Based on domain kits on Microverse and using the unified account, 
organization logging and authorization capabilities on smart stage. They can develop SaaS, and those SaaS can naturally support online payment, automatic settlement, deployment, and provisioning. Also, smart stage support intelligent ONM. On the consumption side, smart stage for enterprises provide one-stop SaaS purchase and usage. Enterprises can search by scenario. During usage, enterprise level authorization, automatic provisioning, and usage are supported. If enterprise users want to customize that, the local development capability can also help them do it. Now let's look at how Macroverse is applied in manufacturing. In the past, industrial software solutions and cloud services were purchased from different websites. People need to manually select specifications and provision service. It was very complicated. Now with Smart Stage connect to Huawei Cloud Marketplace, enterprises can quickly find the best practice, order them in one click, and use them out of the box. And to solve the problem system silos, Microverse integrates and adapts heterogeneous systems. Leveraging Huawei Cloud ecosystem, good applications are brought together onto one platform that covers R&D, production, supply, sales, services in various stages. And for enterprises that require customization, a variety of assets, components, and templates can be provided. Enterprises can quickly roll out light applications. Let's show you a video. We hope that the smart stage for manufacturing enterprises can facilitate a better industry collaboration and digital transformation. Macroverse is a platform jointly built by Huawei Cloud and partners. Some of the domain kits in the capability layer are built by Huawei, but more are built jointly with partners. For example, Sino Health worked with Huawei Cloud to build pharmaceutical APAS. Master data, intelligent algorithm, data applications of pharmaceutical industry are combined with Huawei Cloud EI, Medicine IoT, mobile services on this platform. It supports innovation, R&D, production, circulation, retail of pharmaceutical industry, helps streamline upstream and downstream data, improve sales development efficiency, health service experience, and accelerate digital transformation. Now, Macroverse platform is already live. We welcome you to try it out on Huawei Cloud website. Let's watch a video. With Macroverse, we hope to realize expertise as a service, offering the experience of Huawei and its partners to developers and enable innovation in industry scenarios. So how do domain kits enable industry innovation? Now I would like to invite my colleague Mr. Wang Yue to explain it in detail. Let's welcome.
Dear partners and friends, hello. It's a pleasure to share with you industry kits of Macrovas APAS and best practices from various industries. Based on Huawei Cloud, the HMS ecosystem has developed into the world's third largest mobile application ecosystem. We work with Huawei Cloud and partners to build industry kits, share capabilities and accelerate digital transformation. Currently, we have experience in finance, e-commerce, interactive media, automotive and healthcare. We share industry know-how as kits to enable partners and developers to focus on differentiated experience and innovation and quickly realize end-to-end -end digitalization. First, let me share some of our practices in finance. For finance partners, Huawei provides security and privacy protection, convenient experience and AI innovation capabilities. Financial applications have high requirements on security and privacy protection, which are considered the cornerstone in product design at Huawei. Huawei Account Kit complies with the security and privacy laws and regulations around the world and have passed authoritative certifications. Currently, we provide secure and reliable account services and one-click signing experience for users in over 170 countries and regions. Safety Detect is a security service. It can perform security detection on users' device environment, network environment, and applications. Citibank credit card app and Hangzhou Bank app have integrated these two services, greatly improving account and application security. We also provide capabilities such as card recognition, positioning and navigation, and virtual broadcast to help financial businesses realize in-depth digitization and streamline online and offline experience. The second industry is e-commerce. During online shopping, users can search products, click to view them, and place purchase orders. Huawei Push Service sends new product sales information and coupon to attract potential users. Huawei AI and AR capabilities provide users with intelligent and immersive product discovery and display experience. After a product is selected, we provide payment and voucher management capabilities to help users complete the purchase easily. Here, I will highlight the innovative shopping experience enabled by Huawei AR Engine and Machine Learning Kit. Huawei AR Engine's millimeter-level real-time environment reconstruction and positioning help JD app launch AR fitting experience. Users can see how a piece of furniture fits in their homes before purchasing it. The cross-border e-commerce app Banggood integrates the commodity identification capability from the machine learning kit. The accuracy is over 90%. Users can accurately find the desired product with just a photo. We hope to work with more e-commerce partners around the world to provide innovative shopping experience for more users. How can we help our partners build a high-quality audio and video experience? At the software service level, we provide audio and video playback and processing capabilities. During playback, we offer background switching and automatic translation and other AI capabilities. In terms of copyright protection, we cooperated with the Copyright Protection Center of China to launch a DCI-based digital copyright service to achieve tracking and protection of original content. This year, we launched a video editing service in HMS Core 6.0, which opens, us, opens up powerful video editing capabilities, including thousands of special effects and templates. Users can edit videos within the application and it has leading video synthesis speed and the size of files. The media applications have high requirements on network quality. Huawei has rich experience in telecommunications. Now we've opened up our CT capabilities. For example, packet loss prevention, edge quick, and AI network optimization capabilities ensure your applications offer smooth audio and visual experience even when the network is poor. Huawei Petal Clip app has integrated Network Kit, which improves network throughput by over 20%. The following video shows how media and network capabilities are applied in the Petal Clip app.
in the automotive industry, Huawei provides map navigation, occupant safety, and rich IOV content. A pain point in users' daily lives is that when they come out of an office building to hail a cab in the city center, the positioning is often inaccurate. Huawei's location kit uses the Super GNSS. In densely populated areas, it can automatically correct the signal drift. The precision can be within one meter range. The latency is less than 200 milliseconds. Users can be located on the right side of the street, and route planning can be made more accurate. Unsafe driving behavior affects travel safety. Huawei provides distraction and fatigue detection, which can identify dangerous driving behaviors within three seconds with an accuracy of over 95 percent, making driving safer. Huawei works with partners to provide various in-vehicle services and content, such as charging, refueling, and entertainment, delivering scenario-based services to people. Some top travel applications globally have used these capabilities and services to help hundreds of millions of users travel with ease. In the healthcare industry, we provide services that cover the entire process from pharmaceutical R&D, manufacturing to retail. For example, for pharmaceutical retail, we have set up Disease Library Kit, sharing diagnosis data, asset services of 123 diseases in 21 categories. This allows retail pharmacies to not only provide traditional drug sales, but also offer health management services. We also provide a chronic disease management kit, including risk assessment models of six chronic diseases, such as diabetes and hypertension, and the interpretation capability of many complex health indicators, helping partners quickly build SaaS applications for health management. Here's a video to show how we can accelerate the transformation of the pharmaceutical retail. The five domains I talked about are only some of the many applications on micro Macroverse. During digitalization, we hope to work with more developers, partners, and users to pool our wisdom, open up more capabilities, enable scenario-based innovation, improve efficiency, and build a digital future together. Thank you. Mr. Wang, for your wonderful sharing. Let's invite Mr. Kang Ning back to the stage. 下面让我们再次邀请康宁先生登台，有请。Thanks to Guo Wei and Wang Yue for their wonderful sharing. They showcased Macroverse's rich capabilities. We will work with leading partners to pull experience of digital transformation and continuously enable scenario-based innovation. We have received many video endorsements from partners of Macroverse APAS.
建智能工地 A Pass。我们愿与华为云一起助力企业连接客户，实现增长，共同打造中国的数字化力量。我们与华为云共建制造业 A+。我们和华为云共建零代码企业应用平台。我们与华为云共建政企行业的 A+。我们与华为云共建智能制造 A+。我们与华为云一起共建媒体 A+。我们与华为云共建车联网安全 A Pass。我们与华为云共建制造业 A Pass。我们与华为云共建以低代码和智能 BPM 为核心能力的 A Pass 平台。AI 数据为金融机构提供数字化经营方案。我们希望携手华为云共建金融行业 A Pass。我们与华为云共建物联网界协同低代码 A Pass 平台。华为云共建数字孪生可视化云渲染 A Pass， 我们希望携手华为云共建行业 A Pass， 使能开发者。我们与华为云共建智慧城市 A Pass， 我们与华为云共建企业直播 A Pass， 让视频创造产业价值。我们与华为云共建 One Access 生物管理与保控者。我们与华为云共建即时通讯 A Pass， 我们与华为云共建云手机 A Pass。我们与华为云共建制造业 A Pass。我们与华为云共建制造 A Pass。我们与华为云技术共生，商业共赢，共筑 A Pass 生态。我们与华为云共建智能客户 SaaS。我们与华为云共建装备制造 A Pass。我们与华为云共建云会展及企业直播云平台。我们与华为云共筑金融行业 A Pass。我希望携手华为云共建行业 A Pass， 使开发者为中国企业实现数字化管理和数字化人力。加油！凝聚聚力，共筑开天。感谢伙伴。Thank you for your consistent support to Huawei Cloud. We look forward to working with more partners to enhance Macroverse. Thank you. Good to see you again. Innovations drive industry development, which in turn attracts talents. Talents nurture innovation and sustainable development of industry. Talent cultivation is a top priority in industry development. Institutions of higher education train talents for the future. In cooperation with China's Ministry of Education, we launched the Intelligence Base Project to build a new model of talent cultivation based on industry-driven knowledge system and industry academia collaborative talent system, featuring Quimpeng Ascend and Huawei Cloud. It's been implemented in 72 universities for pilot. We have a video to show you. <laughs> The success of the intelligence based project would not have been possible without the support of and guidance from the leaders and experts of MOE and education industry. We're honored to have Mr. Fan Hailing on the line. 各位老师，各位开发者朋友们，大家好。非常高兴能够参加 HC 二零二幺。首先，我仅代表教育部高等教育司。对大会的召开表示热烈的祝贺，对致力于协同育人的华为公司和有关高校表示衷心的感谢。智能基座产教融合协同育人基地，是深化工程教育改革、构建协同创新生态的重要载体。项目实施一年来，实现了三个重要连接，取得了积极成效。一是智能基座连接校企主体，成为产教融合的重要探索
，在战略合作协议框架下，华为公司和七十二所高校在育人、科研、管理等方面实现全方位、深度协同，将行业产业的真实场景、真实问题、真实案例作为人才培养资源，探索了。信息技术领域人才培养、科技创新和产业发展良性互动的有效模式。二是智能基座连接教学要素，成为综合改革的重要探索。以课程为载体，七十二个基地累计开设相关课程一千三百门。以教材为剧本，编写出版三本教材。十三本教辅材料，以学生为中心，发布众志计划和优才计划，组织四十场高校型活动，八千余名学生参与产业实践。以教师为关键，举办十三期师资培训，累计两千多名教师深度参与。三是智能基座连接时空。成为教育新形态的重要探索。华为充分发挥信息技术领域的技术优势，与高校共同探索互联网加教育、智能加教育，开发并上线十二门优质慕课，启动十五个虚拟教研室建设，提供超过一千万华为云资源支持教学，突破时空界限。构建新形态教学和教研共同体。未来，教育部高教司将一如既往地支持智能基座项目，希望华为公司和有关高校持续提高智能基座基地建设质量，总结凝练典型经验，引领更多企业和高校推进协同育人，促进教育链、人才链、产业链。创新链有机衔接，共同打造世界工程创新中心和人才培养高地。最后，预祝会议圆满成功，谢谢大家。感谢发。Thank you, Director Fan. Guided by MOE, the intelligence-based project will go further. First, we will develop more teaching materials. Last year at Huawei Connect, we released six teaching materials. Today, we'll release another seven. Including Ascent AI processor and CAN architecture programming, advanced deep learning technology with MySpore, and we will co-author three textbooks with professors in China, including Introduction to AI. Next year, we'll release another 16 textbooks and seven teaching materials to bring the fundamental technology of Quimpo and Ascent to university curriculum. Apart from the current 72 universities, we plan to include over 500 universities by 2023 and cover over 2,700 universities and higher vocational schools in China and some top universities overseas to make Quimpong and Ascend the must-have skills for science and engineering majors. We need more resources to achieve that goal. Through the virtual learning and research labs, Jointly set up with MOE, we plan to train over 20,000 teachers in the coming five years and over 5 million students. Theories and practices must go together. We will leverage more diverse teaching methods and offer more practice opportunities through MOOC, online community, experiment, open mind project, and internships so students can learn better and learn hands-on experience. Last but not least, we'll expand the scope from Quimpong, Ascend, and Huawei Cloud for computing to introduce more fundamental technologies such as 5G optical network and data communications. Thank you for your support and participation in the Intelligent Base project. Technologies and talent are the very key foundation. We hope with our efforts we can light up a digital age. Thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Deng Taihua, and all of our speakers for your wonderful sharing. 感谢邓太华先生以及各位嘉宾的精彩演讲 That brings us to the end of the Huawei Connect 2021 keynotes. Thank you for joining us. See you next year. 
，深耕数字化。华为 Connect 二零二一的主题演讲已经全部结束，感谢您的聆听，我们明年再见。